from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Local manufacturer Prattly celebrated its 75th anniversary at its manufacturing facility in Krugersdorp in Gauteng in September this year, where it revealed new products in the pipeline. Sabrina Jardim tells us more. Celebrating its 75th anniversary this year, Prattly CEO Andrew Prattly attributes the company's success to its emphasis on research and development, policy implementation and diversification throughout its 75 years in existence. Certainly, company culture and policies come into play here. Um, we've had a number of policies over the years which, well first of all the company has been through lots of ups and downs over the years. As you can imagine, 1948 to now, 75 years, we've seen and we've done it all. If you're not growing and taking on and exploring new things, um, essentially you're dying, slowly. So um, R&D is the core of the company and it will remain the core and uh, it's, it's something um, which people live and breathe by here. Yeah. So yes, diversification is certainly one of those things that's kept us alive over the years. When one industry is down, the other one is up. And the more you have diversification in, that, in a business, um, certainly on the product side, it's, it's fantastic. Prattly has at least two new adhesive products in the pipeline, including a possible new adhesive range. It also has at least one new electrical product to be launched early next year. The company also launched its Prattly Flameproof XD EnviroBox electrical termination product in March this year. Meanwhile, the company's export market has witnessed significant growth owing to a favorable exchange rate and additional resources aimed at expanding that side of the business. We have products which are very diverse for a large range of things. The other thing about specifically our, our adhesive side is that many of our adhesives are used in the second-hand automotive DIY repair industry. However, Prattly highlighted that South African political challenges and energy constraints have impacted on businesses in the country, adding that market expansion into Africa was key to tackling these challenges. Hence, he said Africa offers growth opportunities for the company's electrical, mineral and adhesive ranges. If we look at our mineral side of things, for example, our mineral Prattly Pearl, now we've got a thermally insulating and fireproof product um, which has huge potential, especially in climatic conditions like Africa and certainly where energy constraints are of a huge concern. So yes, the, the potential in Africa is, is, is vast and I think the way to tackle Africa is, is one market at a time. So you have to do it state by state and you've got to um, talk to people on the ground, people who understand the local legislation, people who understand the local market and talk to them, um, they know best. And that's what we like to do, we like to partner up with people on the ground who understand their market. Certainly South Africa's environment right now to do business in is not the easiest environment to do business in. There's a lot of challenges both um, from an energy point of view, from a political point of view, and you have to ask yourself, okay, how do we get over this hurdle? And, and growth is actually the answer. Whether it's growing, expanding our market here or expanding our market into Africa. And we like to bring out new and innovative products on a continuous basis. Specifically, um, me, we, we try and steer away from me too type of products. So we try and produce products which have very unique attributes to them um, which you won't find anywhere else in the world and uh, we've got I would say probably at least two or three new ones coming up next year and the year thereafter. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy and don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.